Hey guys, Madison here. The reaction you're about to see was filmed back in 2021, during a time when I was not uploading videos to YouTube. Long story. But due to popular demand, I've decided to start uploading those reactions here on YouTube in special From the Vault Fridays. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, Madison here, and today I'm going to be watching Minority Report, starring Tom Cruise and directed by Steven Spielberg. A good combination, so I know it's going to be good. I believe it. <laughs> Minority Report won the poll this week. It's the last movie before Scary Movie Month, so starting next week will be October, and I'm going to be doing one scary movie each week for the whole month of October. I'm so excited, and I'm so excited to see which of the choices I'm putting on the polls you guys are going to be most interested in. It's going to be fun. Can't wait, but you guys just missed the real A plus footage because <laughs> I wish I had already turned the camera on. I was navigating my space here and plugging in things and I tripped over the cord attached to my light over there. <laughs> so it fell forward and I managed to not fall. I caught myself, but the light fell into my lamp over here and then knocked my lamp off my desk. But the real miracle was not me landing on my feet, it was the lamp. <laughs> the lamp flipped off the table and landed right side up. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully that's a, a good sign for today's movie, for today's reaction. I don't know, I'm trying to make it into a positive because you could take it as a negative because I almost fell, but I didn't. I landed on my feet, so... Hopefully Tom Cruise in this movie will, <laughs> will always land on his feet no matter what crazy stunts he's doing. So <laughs> without further ado, guys, I'm excited to watch this movie. So let's do this. What's going on here? Was that bloody scissors? What is happening? What? That was super creepy. Is it predicting the person predicting a crime? Department of pre-crime. Oh my goodness. It's too real. It's too real. 2054. We're gonna be lucky if we're all still here in 2054 <laughs> at this rate. <laughs> White 40. Agatha nailed the time frame at 8.04 a.m. The twins are a little fuzzy on that, so we'll need confirmation. That is so crazy. And so wrong. Arresting people before they even commit a crime. Like, you don't know if they're gonna do it or not. They might, they might not. It's like arresting someone for having a thought. Except maybe they didn't even have that thought and you think they did or they will. Four score and seven years ago. He looks familiar. Who? A man standing in the park across the street. They have an open house at the wrestler place. He climbs a cable. Barb up our poor palace. Ooh, that was cold. Danny Whitmer, the twin from the Fed. Colin Farrell. Sorry, Danny, I'm gonna have to get... 20 years younger. Almost 20 years. How do these triplets have this power? We don't really see anything with premeditation anymore. People have gotten a message. Uh -huh. So no one even premeditates crime anymore? Because they're so dang scared? Oh, what is that? Is that a spaceship? Or like a modern, a new modern advanced helicopter thingy? <laughs> oh wow, is he actually gonna do it? Wow. Yeah, it's like a new and improved helicopter plane thingy. I really like the design of it. Of the District of Columbia Pre Crime Division. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin that was to take place today, April 22nd. What does that do? 
I mean, it, it sure looked like he was about to do it. He was rearing back with those scissors, but still, God, it's like, it's a good thing that you, you could prevent murders from happening, but no one should have this power <laughs> because it's like playing God and humans can't play God. We are, we are very flawed creatures <laughs> and there is no way you could accurately predict the ever-changing will of every human being. Just six years ago, the homicide rate in this country had reached epidemic proportions. It seemed that only a miracle could stop the bloodshed. Now, pre-crime can work for you. We want to make absolutely certain that every American can bank on the utter infallibility of this system. I feel like they're already building these kinds of databases with social media profiles, which is why social media is so dangerous, because it's like, Putting everything about yourself online where they the companies can get a hold of it and build a profile on everything about you is so creepy <sighs> don't worry none your secret safe with me side I could use a little juice on my side is he getting drugs in the land of the blind the one eye Uh, does he have a family? Or did he lose his family and that's why he's on drugs? It's a rather fancy apartment. Kind of dreary though. It's so stark. <laughs> Too modern for my taste. Sorry, runs back home. His daughter was kidnapped at some point. She came back. That's good, right? Look. Keep your knees up. Like that. Good. Like that. Like that. Like that. High. 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 Like that. Bend with you. I love you, Sean. I love you, Daddy. What happened to his family? Were they murdered and that's why he's part of the free crime division? Oh. Look, put the camera down or you're not getting anything tonight. Poor guy. Whoa. What in the world? Like the modern interstate? Whoa. It's like a roller coaster. Are they self driving cars? I will never trust a self driving car. <laughs> never. But I'm not judging anyone who does. It's just me. <laughs> Watch this dandy whipper. You can. Let him look around, answer his questions, but watch him. Yes, huh? Someone intends to kill his boss or his wife, but they never go through with it. How do the precogs tell the difference? There's nothing more destructive to the metaphysical fabric that binds us in the untimely murder of one human being by... So they can only see murders? You're now operating under my supervision. Seems you've been left out of the loop, John. Things are about to get more complicated. We maintain careful control over the serotonin levels. Better if you don't think of them as human. Gee. I know what it's like to lose someone close to home. Of course, nothing is like a loss of a child. I don't have any children of my own, so I can only imagine what that must have been like. There hasn't been a murder in six years. There's nothing wrong with the system. It is perfect, I agree. But there's a flaw. It's human. So there hasn't been any mess-ups so far, but it's like... There probably have been, but they've prevented everything, so they don't know if some of them were going to happen or not. Oh, we already made bunches of mistakes. What is he doing? Wally. <laughs> Something in the water. Was one of the twins killing somebody? Well, I don't know what I just saw. <laughs> Drowning. That narrows it down. Not too many in here for that one. Victim's Caucasian female. What is that? Are those prisoners? Now that is one bad man. He drowned a woman named Ann Lively out at Roland Lake. The killer's a John Doe. Why was a neighbor ID from the eye scan? On account of those are not his eyes. He had them swapped out to fool the scanners. Oh my gosh. 
so if you swap out your eyes, you could like frame frame someone for a crime. We had the two free visions. We got what Art saw, we got what Dash saw. But Agatha's isn't here. That's weird. Looks like she's a neuroanatic, like our John Doe here. But I show an address history that includes the Beacon Clinic. It's against the rules. Anything else going on in here that's against the rules? So why does he want to track down this woman? That's not all. I spent a few hours down there, and there are a dozen more cases with missing previsions. <laughs> that's very strange. There's a reason you're here, John. That pre-crime been in place just six months earlier, the loss you and Lara suffered would have been prevented. They're not gonna take it away from us. I won't let them. Okay, so I said Lara's worried about you. So did they get a divorce after his son was killed? Okay, I thought he had a son and a daughter, but I guess it's just a son. So their son was murdered, and then did they split up after that? Because they were both having a hard time, I guess? Obviously. Of course they were having a hard time. I wonder where it happened and like what happened. So someone is probably deleting Agatha's perceptions of certain things. Someone's trying to cover something up, I guess. But what? And how is it connected to John? The murder of his son, I would assume. What's he doing in his house? That is in a lot of trouble, Sean. Are they predicting that he, John is going to commit a murder? Oh, gosh. You're not gonna kill me. Goodbye, Sean. Wait! I'll get this one. We got time on this one, Jed. Mind going down and getting me a piece of cake they're eating down there? Okay, so the first one is the victim. The first ball is the victim, and the second is the murderer, the killer. I got it now. Oh my goodness. Dude, don't drop that. Hide it. Burn it. <laughs> so, how was he in trouble before this happened? Because Colin Farrell was investigating his house, and he said, Daddy's in trouble. Well, Daddy hadn't even be, been predicted to do anything until this video. So, hmm. Hold up, please. Not so fun when it's you getting predicted for murder, is it? You set me up. What are you gonna do? Possession alone will cost you six months. Not to mention the badge. So he set him up? How? He couldn't have had an eye transplant. Unless you can, like, falsify the retinal scan somehow without actually taking the person's eyes. Where where he set me up? He set me up. Who's the victim? Somebody. Who? Somebody. Leo Grubb. Oh, who is he? I have no idea. Revive destination off. Lamar, they found me. And that's the problem with a self-driving car. <laughs> Heights. These are some crazy visuals for 2002. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love the sound design of the cars too. Gosh, everything's scanning him. Oh, that is so creepy. He's been identified on the metro. Can't go anywhere. Next two stops at 20th and 33rd. It's the problem with having cameras on literally every corner, everywhere. He needs like special sunglasses or something that can block the the retinal scans. He needs Neo's glasses. <laughs> Oh 
gosh. Whoa, they have jetpacks. Don't run. You don't have to chase me. You don't have to run. Yes, he does. Everybody runs, Fletch. Slow down, Chief. Just take it easy. <laughs> Steal one of those jetpacks. That was cool. Oh, all those pots. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> Tom Cruise, man, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Nobody can. His arms give him super speed. See, it comes. <laughs> Whoa. Cool gadget. like biotics from Mass Effect. Who did the score for this? That sounds like John Williams. Feels like the factory scene from Attack of the Clones. <laughs> they came out the same year. I love that red, red spray coming out of there like it's blood. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So why is this Whitwer guy or whatever his name is hate John so bad? Like why did he want to set him up? Do they have a history? Does he have some grudge that John doesn't know about? Was he in love with his, his wife? <laughs> He's jealous. I don't know. He, just, he has it out for him for some reason. Nice car. Very nice car. Where in the world is this now? I'm surprised there's any plants left, honestly. Whoa. Are those robot plants or magical plants? This just isn't your week, is it, Chief Anderton? How does she know? You better drink this. Soon you won't be able to swallow and then you'll be totally buggered. <laughs> you could tell me how someone can fake a prevision. How would I know that? Because you invented pre-crime. All of these kids were born with severe brain damage. Most died before the age of 12. Those few, those precious few who survived, they had a gift. The real nightmare was that these so-called dreams were about to come true. These murders were actually happening. Wow. Well, so many of them, despite what we did for them, or maybe because of what we did to them. But it doesn't matter. It's Marriage. It doesn't matter. <laughs> The pre-con wizards are never wrong, but occasionally they do disagree. What? Most of the time. That's why they're deleting Agatha's. Obviously, for pre-crime to function, there can't be any suggestion of fallibility. Does Lamar Burgess know about the Minority Report? Yes, of course. He knew. You must be no federal agent who wants your job. Not even the old man who just wants to hang on to what he created. Don't trust anyone. Download this minority report. If you have one. And then walk out. Actually.
Actually, I think you have to run out, but yes, that is what you have to do. <laughs> I'm sure that you know all sorts of people who can help you out in this regard. Yeah, we're gonna do something to your eyes, buddy. Get some glasses. That was some compellingly delivered and structured exposition right there. Like, I was riveted, and she was just delivering a lot of explanation and exposition. So well done. <laughs> Damn cold. Ew. What was that? What was that? It's anesthesia. Yeah, I would not trust a guy who just did that to me. All I'm trying to tell you is that I'll have to remove your eyes completely. This isn't terrifying at all. You set your patients on fire. I'll put them out. What? And he chose to go to this guy? So much more interesting than the past, don't you think? Oh, eye stuff freaks me out. Oh, please don't stick anything in his eye. Oh, I can't look. Oh, I can't look. Oh, God. Brave ways to avoid some of the more unpleasant aspects of prison life. Oh, Lord. Oh, thank goodness. Can't I can't do like needles or anything in the eyes? Just no. <laughs> you and John ever come here? He used to every summer. He's not here now, is he? You know, I don't have any sugar either. Thank you. It was right after we lost our son. You mean after he lost his son? It was nobody's fault. I left him because every time I looked at him, I saw my son. So his son drowned? Is that why he was so interested in the woman drowning? I have a feeling something bad's about to happen. <laughs> oh, flashback. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that would be so horrible. literally the sketchiest place. I don't know if that'll be any good. Ew, no, 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 not the moldy bread. Not the moldy one. There was a nice one right below it. <laughs> Lord. Dude, there was a nice looking sandwich right there. <laughs> oh no. Seven warm bodies. Roger that. Confirm 27 warm bodies. What do you think? Four spiders, one per floor? What are the spiders? Oh, Lord. Those are terrifying. DC Whack those things. Burn them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, it's on her face. You need to get out of there, dude. You don't want him to detect that scar tissue. That is so invasive and creepy. Smart. How long can he hold his breath? No way. Are you for real? Can they go in the water? Oh my gosh. I'm not supposed to lift that yet. We got an ID. It's not him. Let's see. 
I thought it was gonna detect like scar tissue and be like beep beep beep. There's also someone here in the mirror. Definitely female. Is he gonna get Agatha out of there? Why? Because pre crime works. Pre crime has eliminated the need. Got the glasses. <laughs> Oh my lord. It's like he got stung by a hive of bees. <laughs> no, does he have this so we can still access everything? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Oh my word. Never thought I would see Tom Cruise chasing his eyeballs down a dark hallway. But here we are. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like Agatha. What is it about this crime? Maybe anymore. if you'd taken one of the males, but Agatha, she's the key. She's the one who listened and ordered the most talent. I'm sorry. I need your help. You contain information. I need to know how to get at it. I don't know how she's gonna function. I can't imagine <laughs> how awful that would be. Hello, Mr. Yakamoto. Welcome back to the dad. Have a disordered tank top to look out for you. Yakamoto. Do they look like they're joking? <laughs> There's nothing new in there. Where's my minority report? Do I even have one? No. What does Anne Lively mean? <laughs> What does it mean? So Anne Lively did die. That murder was not prevented. Is it gonna be Whitwer or whatever his name is? Call your old teammates. Uh oh. They're here. Wow. Perfect timing. He knows. Don't go home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, it's that guy. Yep. <laughs> Did she say leave? I can't. I have to know. I have to find out what happened to my mother. What if he killed his son? I didn't even think about that. What if he killed his son and that's why he kills him? Or kidnapped his son at least. There's the lady. Well, she has like a creepy third eye on her forehead. kill the guy when he finds out, isn't he? <sighs> Probably gonna get caught because he didn't leave too. Oh no. I freaking knew it. Sorry, 
are you piece of trash? There she was in the mirror. There's the man in the background. Go through with this, my family gets nothing. Okay? You're supposed to kill me. Just do it. I don't know. I acted like I killed your kid. Okay? You killed my kid. Oh my gosh. It was I Colin Farrell. <laughs> I tell you who it was, and my family gets nothing. <laughs> John, kill me. You couldn't do this. John, kill me. Kill me. That dude wanted his family to get money that bad. I mean, what the heck, dude? Oh my gosh. This was all arranged. Today we saw the first murder in the six years of the Ku Klux Klan. Sad day enough. Oh gosh, he did. He wasn't gonna do it, and then he's gonna get blamed for it anyway. Oh my gosh. <sighs> murder was suicide. <laughs> What if the technician only thought he was looking at an echo? What if what he was really looking at was a completely different murder altogether? Look at the click of little spiders. Do you know why I can't hear echoes out of the dead? Because by now, the Greek gods can't see a thing. Are you kidding me? Well, it wasn't him, that's for sure. <laughs> it's this guy is this guy is twisted. Lamar is he's got dirty hands. <laughs> Who's he left? I'm on don't tell way. him. Hey, please Lord. Don't bring me dead horse. I don't trust you. I didn't trust him either, but here we are. He was the one trying to get to the bottom of it. So what did Lamar have to gain from all this? Is he the one who set the whole thing up? Or is he just trying to cover up the flaws of the system? And Lively. How can I not have seen this? He's still alive. Across the university and in the stadium where John watched. Man, that's terrible, like telling him what could have happened or could have been. She just wanted her little girl back. So Anne Lively was her mom? The Columbia Free Crime Division. I'm placing you under arrest for the murders of Leo Crow and Annie Whitward. Annie Whitward, no! Oh crap, man. Actually kind of How is he going to get out of this? They say you have vision, that your life flashes before your eyes. Simon, yes, I... Traitor. He's a traitor. Excuse me. The guy from the USA Today is here. Ann Lively. Well, John was talking about her right before they took me. I don't know who that is. John a liar. I'll, I'll have Gideon round the containment pipes. See if anyone drowned the woman. Should strangle him with that tie. <laughs> Anne Lively, but I never said she drowned. Uh oh, Mr. Chance girl, I just strangle him with that tie. <laughs> oh Lord. Phil, the press conference is starting. I'll be right there. Perhaps tomorrow. Girl, you dead. If you see him again, you better run for the hills. I'd like a word with my husband. Yes, Queen. <laughs> what haven't you said in here?
created a world without murder. Sir, everyone wants your name on a hat. Can you sign these for us? Uh, and all you had to do was kill someone to do it. Did he actually do it? She cleaned herself up, and she wanted her daughter back. She wanted Agatha. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh my gosh. It's over. Please be wrong. You have to ask you. Laura's gonna save him. Come on, Laura. <laughs> Come in clutch. Shoot that monster in the back. You know your own future. Which means you can change it if you want to. I'm good. Wow, I did not see that coming. Whoa. So he just proved the system doesn't work. In 2054, the six-year pre-crime experiment was abandoned. Aww. I'm so glad they got back together. transferred to an undisclosed location. Sorry I was so quiet during a lot of that finale, guys. My mind was just blown by what I was watching because it's a twist that, like, when you see the twist, you're like, yeah, that makes sense. Why didn't I think of that or whatever? Um, you know, early on, I was like, is Lamar the bad guy? But I was like, Whitworth seems to be set up as the nemesis. So I kind of fixated on that. Um, but, oh, John Williams. Yes, I knew that was John Williams. Okay, before I talk about anything else, John Williams, another fantastic s score. So moody, so atmospheric, so epic during the fights and the action. Like, fantastic. Okay. So back to the story. Uh, I was like, Lamar? But then I was like, no, that seems too obvious. Because, you know, the old mentor, the closest friend, I was like, that would make sense. But then they were so heavy-handed with footwear, I was like, maybe it's him. Because um, he seemed so... He seemed like he was setting up John. But, yeah, I totally fell for the red herring on that one. I totally fell for that red herring. And it actually was the one that was my first thought from the beginning, <laughs> so they psyched me out, which is funny considering the, you know, the subject of this movie. But anyway, my point being the twist was something, it's something that could be predicted, although probably not with all the specific details. Um, but yet it's so satisfying because it was such a well-constructed story with really well-developed and compelling characters and even Lara got her moment to shine and go in there and rescue her husband. That was so awesome. I mean, Steven Spielberg, no one can deny the man knows how to make a film, how to make a great film. Like, he just, he takes you on a journey. And I mean, just the cinematography, the lighting, the score, the, the performances, everything was just top notch. And I couldn't help but compare it in my mind to The Fugitive, which I watched last week. Um with the, the main characters being, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen The Fugitive, um, for the main characters being per, uh, betrayed. Sorry, I just saw, okay, was that Max Van Sittel? That's his name, right? Okay, I thought, I was like, I didn't look at the whole cast before this movie and I was like, that guy is familiar, I know that guy. <laughs> and for the life of me, I could not figure it out and now I feel like an idiot because that man's a legend. <laughs> I, I remember now I'm picturing him in The Force Awakens playing, oh my gosh, what was his name? The old man in the village on Jakku. I can't remember his name, but he was that guy. And wasn't he the villain in Shutter Island? 
I think he was. Fantastic actor. He's a legend. Iconic voice. Anyway. Yes, okay. What was I even talking about? Everything was amazing in this film. My mind is like racing right now because I was just trying to soak it all in as I was watching. Just so compelling. And so so freaky too like thinking about that because we're kind of on the verge of that kind of technology where we're, we're in a world of social media where everything is gathered about everyone in these online databases um and i've seen you know news outlets saying things like this this person is affiliated with this so they could potentially be dangerous they could be a terrorist in the future and it's like um, that's scary. <laughs> like, there are times where it's like, oh, this person is affiliated with a known terrorist or a known terrorist organization. In that situation, it's like, yeah, that makes sense that you would flag that person and be like, they're dangerous. But if there's somebody who's never committed a crime, who's not associated with a criminal organization or anything like that, and you're like, but they like this page or they, um, they said this on social media or whatever you get into really murky, dangerous territory of like, what do we do to a person before they actually even commit a crime? So it's a very fine line there of like preventing crime, but not marking people as criminals who aren't criminals because you can't fully read the mind of a person. Um, who knows what kind of creepy mind reading technology the government might have that we don't know about, I don't know. Um, I've always heard, you know, whatever you see in public, whatever the, the government or scientific organizations release and announce publicly, they're actually like 20 years ahead of that. So technology is getting to a crazy level where it's like, who knows what they're going to come out with next year or in five years, whatever. Point being, I don't think you can ever 100% accurately predict what a human being is going to do because the future is always in motion a, a person's mind is always in motion and the future is unpredictable so i definitely think that was the lesson here as hard as you try you cannot perfectly predict uh what's going to happen and gosh this movie was just so theatrical like the the man playing the organ down there in the prison and just the grandeur of it all. Oh, I was talking about The Fugitive. It just came back to me. Okay, so I couldn't help but compare the two because both main protagonists betrayed by their closest and most trusted friend. Um, and then the confrontations were sort of similar where Harrison Ford's character goes into the, the benefit where his friend is speaking, he's giving a speech and here Lamar is giving a speech and he's being praised for his pre-crime efforts um, and then Tom Cruise confronted him in a much less direct manner through the earpiece. But yeah, some people might not like my opinion on this, but I, yeah, I couldn't help but compare the two. And I was just like, Minority Report did it so much better. Um, I mean, slightly different plot. I mean, obviously different concept, but same thread of revenge and how do we deal with that. But Lamar didn't actually kill his son. Um, I guess, do we have, did we just not know who killed his son? Was it just a random murder, I guess? Anyway, um, Harrison Ford's character, his friend had his, had his wife killed. So that was a direct link of revenge. But this was different because Lamar was just trying to protect his system and his program that he had created and he didn't want that to be taken away from him and it actually seems that like even though he's a monster clearly he ended up regretting what he did because I mean he he shot himself so he he said I'm sorry John and he actually seemed to genuinely regret all of the terrible things he had done so um that was an interesting twist that I did not see coming I did not expect him to be repentant at all at the end so wow um yeah that was an amazing movie <laughs> that was definitely my favorite tom cruise movie i've ever seen uh 
I'm not the biggest Tom Cruise fan, honestly. Like, I like him, but he's never been one of my favorite actors. But this movie was awesome. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, my mind is just blown right now. So many interesting concepts addressed in such a compelling, exciting way. Like, that was just a riveting movie. So thank you so much to everyone who voted for it on the poll. That was an exciting ride for sure. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and be sure to come back next week for my first scary movie of October. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> See you guys then.